Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to show all system tray icons on the taskbar in Windows 11. So for those of you who don't know, you can no longer show all system tray icons on the taskbar automatically because Microsoft turned that setting off. So if you right click on the taskbar and click on taskbar settings, you'll notice that on taskbar corner overflow, you have all the icons here, but no setting to automatically show all icons in the right side of the taskbar because Microsoft recently got rid of that option. In this video, I'm going to show you how easily it is to show all the icons in the system tray, no matter if icons are newly installed apps or something like that, it really doesn't matter. So for this, we're going to use a small little script that was created by a Reddit user, and you're going to have a link to his original post in the article down below in the description. And you will be able to download from there this script that will help us enable an option every time we start up our operating system, and we will have the system tray icons always enabled enabled and of course showing on the taskbar. So let me show you what you need to do. First of all, you're going to have to open the run box by pressing the Windows plus R keys at the same time on your keyboard. And here in run, you're going to have to paste in this command. You're going to have this in the article down below in the description, paste it here and then press enter and notification area icons in the old control panel will be opened up. For now, this method will work, but I'm not sure for how long, but of course you can use it for a while. Here, all you need to do is to make sure you select all show all icons and notifications on the taskbar and then click on OK. You're going to see that you have all the icons here in the taskbar, but once you restart your operating system, that setting will be turned off automatically. So this is not really reliable. But next up, we're going to use this script, which will help us achieve that. So of course, you're going to have a download link to all these files in the article down below in the description. We're going to have basically the link to that Reddit post from that Reddit user that created this. Now, what you need to do is to copy the .exe file which is this one, control C to copy it. And you're going to have to move it into a certain location. And that is this PC then local disk C or where you have your operating system installed, then users, then you are user, of course, then links and control V to paste it here. You can exit out from this window. Now, now we're going to focus on the dot reg file, because this is the file that is going to help us run that script on the startup. So right click on it and then click on show more options and then click on edit. It's going to open up in the notepad, of course. And what you need to do here is to rename user with your computer name. So as you can see, you have HK local machine software, current version, etc. And then show and here you have C users and then the user name. And you just need to copy the name from this PC local disk C users. And here you have your name. In my case, it is ME1. So I'm just going to enter it here ME1 control S to save the file and then double click on the dot reg file or the registry editor file click on yes, you're going to have here this pop up that is going to say that is going to add some information to the registries, but you can click on yes, because everything is completely safe. And as you can see, the keys and values contained in have been successfully added to the registry, then click on OK, and you should be good to go. Now, if you restart your operating system, you're going to see that that setting will remain enabled and all the system tray icons will be shown in the right side of the taskbar. And after the restart, you're going to notice that it's going to take up one or two seconds depending on your system, but that script will be enabled and you will have all your system tray icons shown in the taskbar. Of course, this video can be useful for those of you who want to have all the system tray icons in the right side of the taskbar, but I'm hoping that this will be useful. Don't forget that you have all the commands, the links, and all the information in the article down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.